Hello, hello everybody. This is Ominous for Responsible Gaming, doing an episode of Ominous Designs. Uh, Magic Card Designs. This is episode 121 that I called with lots of inspiration. Scary things. After the previous episodes of Spooky Things, we're staying in um, um, themes that are that are close to um, Innistrad um, for the upcoming release of the Return to Innistrad um, Shadows of Innistrad as, as it is um, we are well I, I'm cheating a tiny little bit uh, it's gonna be a little more of a scatter shot um, today there is one that is more related to Innistrad I'm gonna keep it for the end um, the first design that I'm going to propose to you um, was inspired to me by... I can show you actually. Um, so I told you before about the Reddit uh, Custom Magic uh, group. Uh, it's very good. I wish you could see the interesting parts. of. Well, you see, it's Custom Magic. You see a bit of it. Um, and uh, I have... What have I seen? This? So they're, they're doing a cube. Um, I guess I can't even see it just right now, but basically um, the cube now uh, that they're doing it, they're looking for uh, artifact designs, um, and they're also looking for so it's it's they're looking for powerful designs um, and uh, possibly well I don't think they are looking for cheap artifacts, but I took it. Uh, that it would be artifacts, mono artifacts, so artifacts that, that just stay on the board and, and do some uh, some activated effect. And I'm gonna go the way of uh, a staff or a wand as it is that does damage. Uh, that's an idea that I've had. And you're gonna see uh, this is gonna be a very uh, development uh, oriented uh, design over here because I have a pretty specific idea of uh, what it should do. Um, I had a picture that I liked um, and it... I was hoping to see it on my desktop. Uh, okay, let's look for it quickly. So, uh, not that it's the most important, but for once I kind of have illustrations lined up um i might i might do some more uh illustration um search uh later on but this is a very good uh it's a very good um um uh, use user on on DeviantArt. um it's called uh shiprock um and this guy has a, a like a uh, a whole gallery of um, uh, uh, like scepters, weapons, and everything uh, as it is. Look at this. This is a beautiful GT that he made for an actual eyes. Uh, it's kind of gorgeous. Uh, it's got a, a Mount Jolnir, uh, Thor's, etc. etc. Um, so that's very cool. It's got a lot of very cool illustrations actually. But I digress. Uh, this guy over here, um, I think, is gonna do it just fine. Uh, where the hell have I put it? See, I have way too many illustrations. Ah, uh, there you go. Um, I already had it. So let's say that it's cropped fine. Um, I don't know if you know, but um, Magic has this this tendency of using staffs and wands and rods as not equipment but mono artifacts even though they're like weapons as it is or, or equipment or whatnot um so uh i don't know if it's going to be a staff or a rod or whatnot the idea though with this guy is that i want it to be something like this i want it to be um this deals damage deals one damage to target creature or player and one damage. something like that. Um, so, sorry. Um, 
this is going to be a game of uh, balancing a cheap uh, recurrent uh, damage to whatever you want. Um, we're going to do a tap symbol, uh, and we're going to do uh, insert colorless one to start. And we're going to do two to start. And then we're going to think, think hard. Um, why does it look weird? I don't. So well, I'm, I'm going to show you um, something that's called. Oh shit, I forgot. Um, this ruination, desolation rod. Ah, I forgot. It's a rod. Um, uh, not a crystal rod. A rod of ruin. So the rod of ruin. Allegedly is an uncommon, not not fantastic one, um, and costs three to activate and four to play. Among the good ones, um, there is uh, stuff of Niv Magus. Uh, I think no, uh, Niv Magus. I'm completely no, it's not what it is. Um, ah, damn it. Um, up, keep draw damage. CMC six. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about staff of Nin, actually. The staff of Nin costs six. He can do one damage to target creature or player, and he also makes you draw an extra card every turn. And it's kind of cool for Commander uh, decks. Um, so, when, what kind of... Um, I want to see my stuff of Rod now because I'm... Uh, I was thrown off completely by the look of... Yeah, it's one comma tap, so why is this comma being completely stupid? Um, it's Control M? No. Yeah, something like that control. Um I don't know why it usually this this is red when the templating is not uh right for some reason, but I don't really see uh I'm not sure what's the problem. There's a space. There's a space. Now it looks good. Um Yeah. So this is tricky, right? We we want this to to be a little better because um it doesn't look like it, but making a damage, d dealing a damage anytime you want to creatures can just screw the combat map pretty nicely. First, he can just blow up anything that's uh, one toughness, obviously. Uh, he can also pair up with um, uh, other damage spells, other other minus minus spells uh, with the first strike to do a lot of damage, and then he basically just adds one attack to any of your creatures randomly every turn, right? Um, so that they can trade up, etc. So I think it's fine. And on top of that, you can basically spend one mana a turn to bring both players down one life, which uh, in many cases, I mean, as long as your head is good, m more or less. Um, so I think this is pretty sweet. Um, so, I mean, the idea is that if I balance it well, it can be a rare, which... Um, actually made for something pretty unimpressive, I reckon. Just heard my um, oh, God damn. Oh, this headset, guys. This headset. Okay, I am plugged right now, so supposedly it, would, it shouldn't crap out on me. But um, yeah. So if it's um, if it is well balanced, it would be a very like it would be pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, in my mind, so it would be even a rare. The downside is the 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 yeah the the thing is it's hard to sell a do one damage and then also do one to you as a very valuable thing that needs to be a rare. It's pretty hard to sell it like that, um, and that's a that's a concern. That's definitely a concern. Um, I think I could be wrong. I think this is this is very good being able to do this. I think it's actually very good. 
um, but you need to work it a bit. It's not uh, it's not obvious, uh, quite obviously, because like if you don't have a particular plan on drop two, on turn two, you drop something that's gonna help you uh, spend you know mana to bring both player down life, which is it's kind of obscure. I don't you don't particularly know. Uh, why you would need to do that. That being said, like think about this. How is that in a burn deck? Like you're already burning them like crazy. I mean, allegedly maybe you don't have the mana to uh, like the mana on turn two or whatnot, but you could do it later. Like what is what is scroll rack doing? Uh, no, not scroll rack. Um, cursed scroll. See, I think I might have found. It. Um, so it's it's for it's for one. You pay three. You reveal a card random for your hand, and if you name a card, you deal two damage to target creature, creature player. So this is a monster, obviously. But let's let's try and understand what makes it a monster. I mean, for first, the repeat the repeated two damage is much better than one damage, obviously. Uh, but then again, yeah, it's it's hard to bring one to the other. But but still like what makes what makes um what needs to be kept or what can what can what kind of parallel can we draw between the two cards to try and balance the power of them um perhaps not that many um if you look into it you'll realize that there is not that many um um artifacts that do a lot of repeated damage like this um especially not cheap ones um uh, I want to show you a razor whip, razor tip whip. Uh, this guy was, um, it is loading right now. Uh, this one was pretty bad. Uh, it is a two drop and for one it deals damage to an opponent. Um, which is funny because over here we're talking about doing the exact, the exact same thing except we can actually target creatures. Uh, and for for this price, you're gonna end up uh, hurting yourself every time too. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um, one thing that potentially, uh, so, ah, yeah, I wanna I wanna mention that one thing that could make it better maybe is that you could make it so that you don't have to pay mana to do this. I don't like that at all. Uh, just for the reason that it's uh, that I have no idea how widely combolicious that would uh, make it. Um, something that just taps for damage. Um, I mean, I might be overthinking it, but 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 to me, see, you, if you don't put a yeah, if you don't put an activation cost, uh, then you're gonna be finding a way to untap this a lot and and do a whole bunch of damage, and it's not a great idea. Um, but I could be wrong. I mean, there could be a whole bunch of permanents out there uh, that tap for damage, so that's not that much of a problem. Uh, note that this is an artifact, and it's quite possibly easier to to untap. So I don't know. I might be overthinking it, but to me, if you do tap, do one damage, you're creating potential for combos. That being said, the combo will also need you to uh, be ahead on life, otherwise you can't do much with it. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe it's safe. I I feel like it's it can be it can get broken too easily like that. Um, what else? Well, the other thing is it's still not very impressive. Um, and it's too bad because now. I, I want to push this, this design to fruition, but maybe the idea that I had to begin with wasn't a great one. Because if we say something, I want to push something that deals one damage so that it's very cheap and easy to do, uh, and I want to use the fact that it deals one damage to you. Uh, and if we say you can't make that into a rare because it feels like it's not fantastic, then I'm kind of screwed. Um, and I don't really want, I don't think I really want a thing that does one damage to a target creature or player and doesn't have a, a drawback that deals damage to you. I don't think I do want that. Uh, because to me, this is, this is getting a little, a little out of hand. 
uh, people don't want uh, they don't do um, they don't do things like uh, I don't remember what they called the mages that do one damage there, there used to be a lot of those um, so I think I think being able to dish damage even if it's very low uh, is considered just too 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 nice of a convenient a convenience having said that now if I put it as a rare it's not like it's gonna smother limited either um, I wonder um, if you have any opinion I just feel it's it's very hard to to evaluate a um, something that on face value does so little but it's such a nice convenient to have around uh, and and can just you know, help you trade up all the time and grind, uh, uh, etc. Like over time, uh, if you just uh, came onto the channel, my original idea is to add the drawback to deal you one damage. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I might, I might just put it out there as a conversation starter um, because I find myself to be kind of. Uh, kind of lost trying to figure out what the what the power level and the balance should be on that thing. I feel like this could have and this could this could exist as is, but um, I could be wrong. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I wanted to show uh, what is it? Uh, Zara's commando. Um, Zara's commando does one damage to. Oh, it's only opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there is very little things that do uh, that do repeatable damage to a creature, isn't there? It's, it's pretty. It's, it's been a while. We don't see those around. I can't think of any. Um, this is just way too convenient. So, yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna say let's put it out there and see what people think. Um, yeah, I think it's. Interesting, and and like I said, the original idea was uh, cube. Now now doing one damage to a, tar uh, a target and to you, I guess that's gonna be tough to make cube worthy. Um, but like in no way in the world you can just do two damage repeated. That's just that's just not gonna happen. Uh, I mean, especially not if I want to cr to create something that doesn't cost. Six seven. So yeah, let's see what people think. Um, I don't think I want this to be in uncommon either. I mean, that would be annoying to see several of those uh, around, going around. If you have two of them, that starts to be super sweet. Because I'll take repeated two damage to shock everything inside. Um, so let's move on. So. I'm gonna move on to uh, a oh that's fine. I'm gonna move on to a big bad guy, and <laughs> I'm disappointed because I've been looking for demons and I haven't found something very exciting. So I was like, oh maybe I'm gonna reuse that guy, uh, and now I realize that I used it like earlier this year already. So it's a it's a little too bad, but um. I don't know. I'll I'll browse I'll browse around, and if I don't feel if I don't find anything, I won't overthink it. Um, let's go for ooh, this one is nasty, cool. Uh, that's cool, but not for my design. Uh, this is pretty sweet too. I yeah, really like it. Oh man, it's got good stuff. Very good stuff. This guy is called. Chris Cold, uh, Chris Cold on DeviantArt. Check it out. It is pretty sweet. Um, so my demon. I'm sorry, I can't help it. You should enjoy it. It's pretty cool. Um, my demon. Um, it's gonna be a big nasty demon, and it's going to say something like this. It's gonna. It's gonna say. Whenever a creature and opponent controls would die, it 
Google Current Instead. What? What? So I do believe um, I do believe that would be the wording. Um, would die instead. Um, let's see. That's the wording for exile. Um, if a non-token, if a non-token creature and opponent control would die, do I want to do? No, I don't really see why. Instead, instead exile that card and put a two-two black zombie token onto the battle. Uh, instead, draw a card. Sacrifice a plant instead. Eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, something else that's similar. And would die, returning to it. It's on a hand instead. Yeah, the same as this. If a creature an opponent controls, no, 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 would die. Uh, draw a card instead. So, that's gonna be pretty fun. I think it's gonna be really fun. Um, so. I mean, pretty straightforward, right? Your the creatures you open and uh, control don't die anymore. You might screw yourself. Ah, God. Yeah, there's a bit of a problem that right there. <laughs> See, the thing is, um, if your opponent has a sack outlet, he's gonna take you right then and there. That's unfortunate. Um, so I have one solution. I don't know if I like it. Um, you can do that if it's the first time. Blah 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 blah. Um, do I want to add this caveat? Well, first, if I don't, this design is dead. Or or we need to f we need to find another solution. There is one one solution needs to be found. Uh, you cannot just create this demon and have the opponent play a sack outlet and deck you. Or can you? Wait a sec. Actually, maybe you can. I mean, the thing is, demons screw you over terribly, right? So if the demon and those are those are inherently timmy. So usually, I mean, I, this is probably going to be Timmy. Um, so you can't play it if you open another sack outlet. And when you play it, the demon says, "Anytime your opponent has a sack outlet, you're dead." Uh, it, it's still, it's still pretty, pretty crappy. Um, I don't love it. Um, I don't love it. Um, so what kind of solutions could there be? Um, I mean, the the if it's the first time that creature would die this turn uh, is definitely a solution. Um, uh, especially since what's what's pretty good about it is that even if your opponent can still try and deck you, if it's got a, if they have a sack outlet, uh, say they have five creatures and they sack them every turn. Uh, you um uh, you're still gonna draw five cards every turn until they manage to deck you, which is pretty sweet for you. Um you you can you can definitely find a solution right there. Um so what'd you say? What did you say? Same for your opponent taking you, by the way. If they have a sack outlet uh, and they can take you on the spot, you can still draw into your removal and, and remove the sack outlet. Um, but, I mean, it's definitely faulty, right? The sack outlet can be an enchantment or anything else. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm I'm struggling in between two things. I don't think there is another solution other than if it's the first time you would die. Um, and it kind of messes with the flavor because I wanted a like a demon lord of and death or whatever, and and like just death doesn't happen anymore. And now we're saying, well, death doesn't happen a little. 
but then it really happens anyways. There is a tiny bit of memory issue, especially if one would die, then another would die, then a third would die. Oh wait, did this one die already this turn? I don't know. Uh, maybe it was the other one. That's pretty annoying. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is one of this is one of the the only solution I can think of. Otherwise, you make a demon that just can kill you if there is a, a sack outlet uh, on the other side of the table. <sighs> I mean, this would be pretty nasty in Commander, anyways, because the opponent would have like tons of creatures. Uh, like all your opponents would have tons of creatures, they could die for multiple reasons, you could be drawing like 10 to 15 cards very easily, and then all of the creatures would stay on the board, uh, would like overrun you. Uh, the If the, the opponents have uh, uh, benefits from having their creature die or, well, not die, but um, uh, be sacrificed or mostly be sacrificed, I guess, then they could benefit from those outlets a lot. Um, damn it. Is my ID bad? It's fun. You have to say it is fun. Uh, I've been jamming. I've been jamming a lot more designs uh, now that I do, do those episodes because I don't want to have to think of another one. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna submit to design tonight, and I don't. We've already been there for there for a little bit, so we're gonna have to wrap up. Um, Basically, it's going to be either I add the clause that says if it's the first time and people say, oh, this is weird, uh, some people will like it, or I don't add the the context and everybody's going to go, well, you're going to be dying if somebody tries to sack the creature a million times. Uh, this needs to be, I mean, basically for multiple reasons, this should probably, uh, oh god, yeah, no, yeah, this is terrible. Because if you say, uh, if you put like um, an enchantment that says uh, all creatures get minus one minus one, uh, then all of a sudden you get a creature uh, on the other side of the board that dies infinite number of time and you die right away. That's also very sucky. Even if even if I want to say okay, fine, you played a demon, the demon killed you, uh, it creates a very wacky computer bug uh, type uh, board where oh uh, look at this, there is an infinite loop, you're dead. Uh, that doesn't sound doesn't even feel like an infinite combo. That sounds like something uh, went bad with the game. So I guess I'm gonna add the the, the condition. And I mean, it's less cool, but it still does something. And at least it's cleaner in a way. Like you look at it and you're like, fine, this is this is just gonna do this um, this effect and nothing more crazy is gonna happen like for every creature you kill every turn if that's the first time they don't die you draw a card instead uh that makes wrath into draw x cards uh there there's there's some fun stuff now uh can we i i can't make this happen on for the creature you control can i that's gonna be too too nasty uh, for one, you could start make a deck that sacks their own creature, but they don't die, and you draw a card instead, which would be nuts. And for two, it makes it's supposed to be a trade between your opponent's creature not dying and you drawing cards. Uh, if you make your creature not die and also you draw cards, that doesn't yeah, that's just that just doesn't work. Um, so let's go for it. If it's the first time that creature would die in this turn. Right? Um, the first time a creature in opponent control would die each turn, that wouldn't work, right? Because that would only mean the f one first creature every time. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, that's a thing. I think that's a thing. Um, I'm going to, body-wise, probably want something that's 
big and nasty as well. Uh, we don't want to put that effect on things that are too easy to play because it's messy and splashy. Um, I don't know. Um, cards these days are are going like crazy on the on the vanilla on the vanilla uh, test I've seen in a uh, in Shadow of Innistrad there is some crazy buddy there's like f f five nines or I don't even remember like just ridiculous things um for some reason I like the aesthetics of a five four uh, we've seen a couple of them we've seen five threes too actually uh that sort of stuff helps uh, driving the cost by quite a bit usually uh, uh I remember the tormentor or whatever is a four five three flying with upside for five which is pretty sweet um I want this guy to be actually if you want to make it a tiny bit better you should probably make it at least a five five because you're gonna prevent your enemy's creatures from dying so uh you know it would be great that you have something uh consequent on the other side of the board um I could even see make it a six six and going and taking this back to probably uh I forgot. It's been it's been a while. I don't I don't remember if they made uh, that many uh, big bad demons recently. Uh, um, sometimes, well, there wasn't demons in. Uh, yeah, there wasn't any demon in uh, oath was there. Uh, format battle. Um, so we gotta go back to cans. Wow, there was no demon, eh? Yeah. Um, so it's gotta be can. Uh, troop, troop. I'm kind of going into in the weeds now. Uh, troop, troop, troop. So our recent demons are five four flyers for five, five four flyer for four, and we got ourselves a four five for nine. Blah. Well, it's got a very good ability though. Um and then this one is pretty special. Um yeah. Uh this is a four five foot nine. Damn. Oh oh it's got Dell. It's got Dell. Uh sure. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. I mean this is you can tweak that around as much as you want. I think it's good to have a expensive card. Seven is fairly expensive. Um, and it's got a very big body because you're going to make your opponent's creature survive. Uh, and you're going to try and draw a bunch of cards. So, sure, whatever, you tell me. 6-5, okay, 6-5. I, I, somehow, somehow I feel like 5-6. No, I guess it's fine. I was going to say 5-6 doesn't feel like <laughs> stats of a, of a demon, but why not? Um four six starts to feel like it's a freaking Sphinx. I fig I find. Um I guess you, you don't expect a, a bigger toughness for for uh lords uh, for demons. Um uh, by the way, if you haven't heard my rant about Lord, why aren't lords creature types? Is it just because No, I didn't want lords, I wanted noble. I wanted noble. Noble was cool. Lord, I, I think I can get because they used, they used to be Lord was uh, Lord used to be uh, the ones that buff all your creatures. So blah blah blah. Um, cool 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 cool. I'm gonna keep it as that. I'll probably switch to another illustration and a different name, but that'll be your surprise for the uh, article that comes tomorrow. Uh, it comes tomorrow on. If you haven't noticed, I'm wrapping up now. Comes tomorrow on uh, still uh, bullseye.com, still named bullseye.com, but all, all the uh, responsible gaming um, uh, channels uh, Twitter, YouTube, um, Twitch, Facebook, 
a Reddit uh, slash uh, um, custom magic. You know them all, they're always in the corner. Um, and that is it. Uh, that is it. I am uh, well due for dinner now. Uh, this has been fun. I am keeping something uh, very tasty for next week. Um, I didn't want to do it uh, tonight because I need to think a bit more about the designs and I wanted to keep it short, even though I did not at all keep it short this time. Um, awesome. It's been fun. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time tomorrow for the article and next time for episode 122 of a minute design until then good night and bye bye